dear lord. And if you know what this means, that means Himiko's immediately getting her stacks. Look at that follow up. Himiko, Herda. <laughs> In today's video, we are going to be showcasing by far one of the stupidest teams I probably ever put together for an end game mode. And this is going to be the infinite follow up team with Herda, Himiko, Ruin, Mei, and Shui Yi in Pure Fiction. We're going to be showcasing them in stage three and stage four. And by far, I think this is by far one of the most satisfying teams that you could possibly ever run. And yes, you might notice that we do not have a sustain on this team. This team is purely just full offense, no defense. And I think, honestly, not a lot of you are going to expect what we're going to be seeing when it comes to looking at all of these characters go together of course her and himiko are going to be there for the tag team that they always had and then shui is going to be going into the mix as well with having all these characters get broken by fire and ice she's going to be able to get her stacks to be able to do her follow-up attack also have a you know ultimate ready for the elite to crack their shield and give himiko her follow-up attack there's a lot of really cool stuff that you can do with this build so we're gonna go ahead and buff ourselves up and get ready for the showcase let me know what y'all guys think about pure fiction i think this mode is so freaking fun and i i quite literally haven't had this much fun in a mode like this in a long time and i love it i absolutely love it so much it is a really freaking good mode and it's a really fun mode i wish it didn't end as fast as it did but We'll just have to wait till the next period comes out. And right now, we're just going to go ahead and skill with Shui Yi. And, whoa, we already we already started. <laughs> we already started. Oh, I didn't expect for that to be so quick. So, of course, right now, uh, who is he calling? Right now, looks like we are going to be not cracking. But, oh, we're, never mind. We are. Boom. <laughs> now, it's something that the other guys don't spawn in yet. Oh, never mind. I do get a spawn in. Let's go. Uh, these guys are all ice, so I will be knocking them all out. And then Himiko should be coming in with her follow-up attack for the next wave. And then the madness might start. Possibly, maybe. Boom. Boom, boom. <laughs> yes, sir. Shui Yi. Ooh, that was nice. All right, here we go with the Himiko ult. Let's see how fast we can beat it with this type of setup. Oh, my God. Boom. All right, we got that done. That wave is gone. Himiko's turn is still here. Let's go ahead and break this dude. Sadly, we don't have a fat ton. Oh, okay. We already got the stack for the next wave. Bam. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> holy. Oh, and guess what? We have the ult ready for Shui Yi so that we can crack homie at exactly 50%. Dear Lord. And if you know what this means, that means Himiko's immediately getting her stacks. Look at that follow up. Himiko, Herda. <laughs> here we go again oh my god <laughs> and then we have the ultimates for everybody as well so yep here we go again i think we might be able to beat this possibly in the first cycle it's a possibility it really is we are super high in score at the current moment and i okay good every buff is still there i thought ruin maze wasn't there but we get the pop 218k with the follow-up and then he oh shui is here and then hurt us here oh and then, ooh, oh my god. It's because Herda picked up that shield break on the Elite. That's why Himiko got to go again. Holy crap. Now, I don't think I'm going to be able to do anything in regards to getting another follow-up attack to beat it before the cycle ends. But we did some damage. That was some insane damage. <laughs> Holy crap. Um, I would like if they hit someone else other than Ruin Mei so that they can get their ult. But it don't matter. Uh, we got the Ruin Mei ult, which is going to keep our damage buffs up. And this dude's getting delayed. I He might even... Oh, never mind. He's just not going to live anyway. Boom. Everyone's dead. <laughs> this is the dumbest team ever to exist. Oh, here we go. Boom. <laughs> oh, my God. Look at that. Zero sustain on stage three max score. Oh, my God. So, if you by any chance don't have, like characters that you feel like would be able to fit this mode just know you can save your sustains for the other side because if you have himiko and you have ruin may you might be able to just clear it all with just follow-up attack characters <laughs> himiko ruin may and shui and herda just work so well together now please don't take this as advice because yes you should probably be splitting herda and himiko into different teams when it comes into building for pure fiction they both work really well on other sides with herda being on one side and then himiko being on the other you don't want to kind of mess yourself up in terms of having both characters on one side if you can't beat both sides max score and one thing to note as well as a lot of people were asking 
which was should I build Herda and Himiko while this um, Pure Fiction is here or should I just not build them anymore? Just due to the fact that we know that there's going to be another Pure Fiction which is dot centered. And I want to say that Herda and Himiko are here to stay. I'm going to be 100% with everyone which these sub DPS characters which are Herda and Himiko they're going to be able to work on every pure fiction that comes out just because of that off turn damage that they can get. And with Himiko only needing, you know, you to be able to match the element with your main DPS, which is going to be what you primarily want from this mode. You're going to be able to get Himiko's passive off and get that off turn damage, which is really, really good to clear out the, those trash mobs. And then her ultimate as well being a refund when you do down enemies and also having her ultimate do a lot of damage in the AOE setting. She's by far going to be one of the better characters for sure in this mode. Same thing with Herda. Her only condition is that you get the enemies under 50%. And this can stack and allow you to do way more spins than you're supposed to. And knock out a fat ton of shields. Knock out a bunch of trash mobs. These two characters. If you have these two characters. I would invest on those, getting those characters and building them up whenever you get the chance. Because yes, they will be good no matter what. No matter what Pure Fiction comes out. You're going to see that these are going to be staples for every single side. No matter what happens. I don't think there's ever going to be a situation where they're just not going to work out. In terms of having both Himiko and Herd on the same team. Or having them separate. You for sure are going to be able to work with them no matter what. Now when it comes to other characters like you know not having Argenti. Um, I've seen some people beat it with Clara if you do have that character. And then also if for people that have been asking because i've been seeing it in my comments as well that you know you have jing liu you don't really have these aoe type of characters to deal with pure fiction i will be having a video up shortly which is going to be me showcasing jing liu being able to clear this pure fiction and being able to clear it with jing liu um, because I know a lot of people have gotten Jig Liu, not a lot of people have gotten Argenti, so I can see where the problem is. And since we're basically done with that little talk, um, we're just going to skip forward to the next stage. We are here on stage four with our full follow-up team, which is going to be Himiko, Herda, Shui, and Ruin Mei again. No sustain. We're going to take on stage four, hopefully being able to beat this guy up here because... Uh, yeah, this, this isn't going to be easy, I'm pretty sure. Especially with how tanky he is and how we possibly are going to run out of time because this team is by far not the most efficient in doing damage. It does this damage, but I don't know if this, you know, <laughs> amount of characters can do it. So let's go ahead and see what we can do. We're going to pop Shui skill, potentially. I don't know if this is the right move. <laughs> we did get a break off already on this dude, so I guess plus one, maybe. <laughs> um, let's go ahead and pop Ruin ultimate to give us the penetration. I'm 100% sure not gonna know what exactly we're looking for in terms of this run i don't know what i'm supposed to be doing with shui either but herda's already here to start off the run we got two explosions off which is really good with this elite because they had the knuckles beside them lowering the shield now hopefully this guy hits the okay hits the other three the dps's we're probably gonna get shield breaks off with the kuruku yep there we go himiko follow up boom shui potential no shui but we do get a potential pop off. Is it worth doing it with Himiko? Yeah, I'm gonna do it. F it. We don't care. Follow up. Boom. And then Herda. Oh no, Shui Yi. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, we love it. We love it. We love it. Now I got ultimates to spare, and these ultimates are going to be. I did not want anyone to get hit, but the fact that Ruin Mei was the one that got hit, I'm fine with that. Let's do the Herda ultimate. That way we get the stacks off with both of these characters for Himiko and for Shuei. Now that should clear out that wave. We're looking good here. I kind of want to save Shuei's ultimate for the next elite. We already got her thing somehow. I think it was because of the Ruin Mei light cone. Might be wrong. Might be wrong. This should clear up everyone else. Bam. Bam, 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 bam. That pig is tanky. But luckily enough, I think he's dead. Yep, he's dead. Let's go. Um, we're going to have to re-up that ultimate. No one has quantum weakness, which sucks. And also, to add on top of that, no one else has a AoE thing that we could use. I could have probably used Shuei's ultimate in order to keep the cycle. But man, we're, we might be touching the wire. I'm not going to lie. Oh, okay, follow up. Boom. Follow up. And the pig is alive still, which sucks. Oh, he comes as an elite? Is that what it was? Oh, shoot. Sway. Boom, boom. Ah, I hate that this dude's alive. Why do you have to be alive? Uh, we're going to finish it off with the Himiko skill. He's not dead somehow. Why? You oh, my God. Why? I hate that I couldn't pause it or anything. Why do you do that? 
<laughs> no way. Okay. We gotta get Himiko her ultimate. I have no way of guaranteeing the way we get Himiko her ultimate right now. So we're just gonna go ahead and do her does. And we're gonna hopefully pop the quantum pop on Savarog as well. Which I gotta be careful because these knuckles do do quite a bit of damage. We only need 50%. Oh my god, okay. I'm trying to make sure I don't overdo it. Okay, I need to do it now. I need to do it now before he gets popped by the... Oh, chill out. Okay, now Shui Quantum Pop. Boom, to get the max amount of damage. Bang! Oh, okay. Boom, boom. Okay, we... Oh my god, this is perfect right now. We're looking really good right now. That Quantum Pop, 1000% is going to go hard. Now, is he quantum popped? He looks like he's not. I hope he is. Why does he have burn? Am I dumb? Does he not have it? I'm scared now. Because if he doesn't have it, that's not good. Because we really need that damage to come out from that pop. And I don't know why I'm not targeting him. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. Okay, we're going to keep spamming ultimates. I don't know where this is going to be heading. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> okay, we got follow-ups coming up, which is a really good thing. We're stacking up the... Did we not pop Quana? There's no way, right? Because we used Shui Yi's ultimate. So what could have hit him? We're doing good damage, though. We're doing good damage. He, he took a burn tick. What? Wait, how is that possible? Wait, what? How is this possible? That makes no sense. I'm so confused right now. What? Okay, hopefully this helps us out with the shield to hurt Savara. I hate that there's still more guys. Where are y'all coming from? Okay, the Shui Yi. Oh, the follow-up? Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Oh, wait. We might have it. We might have it. We might have it. We might have it. Especially because we might have Shui Yi ult. Potentially. Oh, well, no. We should have it already. Because Savaro is the only person left. So the boss gets hurt a lot more when they're by themselves. Uh, if you didn't know that. They take a lot more damage if you finish all the mobs. And we beat it. Let's go. Oh, my God. Okay, let's go. We just beat Pure Fiction Stage 4 with Himiko Herda and Shui Yi. And let me mind you right now. Now, when you look at Himiko and Herda's light cones, chill me out, okay? <laughs> chill it out. Um, first, we're going to show off Shui Yi really quickly. My Shui Yi's butt. I'm just telling you that right now. My Shui Yi is butt. It's terrible. 52% um, crit rate, 78 crit damage, but we do have 142 break effect. I'm not 1,000% sure where the heck my break effect went or my break period for a quantum for Savarog because he ended up getting the burn break, which I got to go look back at how the heck that even happened because Himiko didn't do the follow-up attack. The Shui Yi was the one that popped them with the ultimate. That was the whole purpose because with her ultimate, she's able to do the weakness break efficiency by 30, I think, or she has that in her kit. I don't know if it's anywhere around here. I'm not 100% sure, but it's somewhere in there. You do a lot more damage with their ultimate in terms of the uh, quantum weakness. And not only with that, with Shui Yi, you also get a fat ton from Ruin Mei's own skill as well. You get the extra, what, what is it, from her skill? You know, it's her talent. No, it's her skill. I'm stupid. Uh, her skill gives you 30, 50%. So you get the 50%, then you stack on Shui Yi's Wiggins Break Efficiency um, with her ultimate, how it's colorless. There's a lot of really cool things that go along with that combo, but why didn't I get my Quantum Pop? If someone could answer me that, that would be really cool, but I have no idea where the heck it went. So I'm so confused. Um, Herda right now is rocking 72-166 with Jing Yuin's Light Cone. You do not need Jing Yuin's Light Cone for Herda 1000%. She is C6 or E6. Um, she's rocking Ice Set with Inner Cell Soto. We are not rocking Attack Boots because with off-turn damage dealers, you definitely just want to get, let them keep the buffs that they have. And they don't need to take as many turns because they are just doing the damage while they're not taking their turn. So 100% Attack Boots are really good for maximizing the damage you are going to be putting on Herda and Himiko. Um, like I said, you don't really need this light cone for these characters. 
And funny enough, Himiko is actually using Night of the Milky Way, which a lot of people do not like as a light cone. But for Pure Fiction alone, this is going to give you a lot of damage because you're always going to get this massive attack buff. And when there's weakness broken enemies, you're going to be doing a lot more damage to them. So the elites that get broken, the uh, other characters that are still alive on the field, when they get broken, your follow-up attack is going to do massive damage, your ultimate is going to do massive damage, and your skill is going to do massive damage. So this light cone is now super good for pure fiction you might want to level it up if you do have it there are other light cones that are really good for these characters um breakfast of course is the all-time favorite for this you are 100 want to level this up if you do get the chance um you can buy this for free in the pure fiction shop it's shared now i think with moc and pure fiction so breakfast is right by sure going to be the easiest one you can stack up just because for every enemy defeated you're going to be able to stack it up three times giving you the attack boost and then you also get a general damage boost as well and superimposing five it you get these higher i don't know exactly what it would be but it's going to be a well worth light cone it's a really good one for iridition for sure as an all-around option uh genuine's light cone just overall just busted it's a really good light cone um but you can really go with breakfast or having himiko's light cone which is a really good light cone for pure fiction uh, for Shui, as I said before, she she's just not built. <laughs> she's not good at all in terms of my uh, standard or what people's standard should be when making Shui. She did do a good amount of uh, work with her follow-up attacks and also popping Savarug earlier, even though I didn't get the quantum pop for some reason. But other than that, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching until the end. It was super fun beating stage 3 and stage 4 with full-on follow-ups, no sustain. So other than that, thank you guys so much for all the way to the end. Make sure to leave a sub and like if you enjoyed the video because I surely did. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. See you on the next one. And peace.